Hi everyone. So um, to, whoa, where did I go? There you go. Okay. Sorry, I bumped my controller. All right. So uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a random weather system uh, that can choose the random the weather randomly at the, either the start of a match, the start of a round, or either. So uh, anyway, let's get started. So first things first, we get my body. Okay. So. What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to spawn a um, some kind of object that will hold your script. I'd recommend script rain, however, it can be whatever you want it to be. Alright, after that you're gonna go to your object properties, go to the bottom and say scripting, make sure that it is enabled, and hit add script. If, there you go. Add script. So the condition is going to be on match start. Um or on round start. Now uh, I tried to make um, this or when I was trying to make this earlier I found that um, it doesn't necessarily work when it's on match start when the match starts which is pretty stupid if you ask me so um, if you do on round start that would be pretty safe do both would be another op good option so I'm gonna keep it on round start though um, all right so let me find it okay so we're gonna go to number set or number change, sorry. Um, we're gonna change the scope to object. You can keep it global if you'd like, but keeping these channels open for objects that need to reference other objects, numbers, um, can be useful. So I'm gonna go to object. Um, we're gonna leave the numbers at this add, um, because that doesn't need to change. You can keep it at set. Have a constant in the value is going to pretty much, okay, so how you're gonna determine the value is how many different types of weather. So zero will be one type of weather. One will be two different types of weather. Two will be three different types of weather, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to have two different, uh, or three, I'm going to have mine at two, which will have three different types of weather. And make sure to put on randomized uh, weather, or randomized number. All right, after that, you're going to add another script. These following scripts will be the um, different types of weather. So you're going to go to number check. Uh, you're going to change the scope to object, have the offsite, offset be 0. If it's changed, then it will give you a wrong number. Um, have it to be equal, and have it be a constant. The first one will be 0. Um, after that, you're going to go all the way to the end, and there will be screen effects. Now, you're going to go all, um, you're gonna go to players really quick and change this add to players add. This will make it so all players in the game. If you wanted to have two different, um, each team to have different um, weather for whatever reason, then you'd go to team add and specifically pick the team. But I'm going to go to players add so everyone in the game gets it. Uh, and now you're going to change the effect to whatever you want. So I'm going to change that to uh, heavy snow. All right. So now you're going to add another script. Um, this one's going to be the same with number check object. Offset's going to be zero equal to. It's going to be a constant and it's going to be one. Your action will then be um, screen effects. Make sure to change players to players add, and effects will be um, whatever weather. So this time I'm going to choose papers heavy. All right, and I chose two, so that means I'm going to have three different. So the final script will be um, number check. Scope will be object offset zero operator equal. Then constant is going to be two. The action then can be um, screen effects, player, players add, um, and then effect will be another type of weather. So this time I'm going to do moats. Alright, so now that you've done that, you can go ahead and save your game, as I just did just on the corner. And then, um, so now you load it up into multiplayer. Alright, so um, I've saved it and now I'm loading it up into custom games. As you can see, um, it can be on any game mode you want. This one is not specific to anything. So, just give it a second. Three, two, one. All right. So, um, you might be asking yourself, wait, why isn't the weather changing? And I'm assuming that's because um, the round, I guess, hasn't technically started. Um, if you were to have matched on match start, I think it would work better. Um, but I just 
couldn't get that to work for some reason. It just wouldn't work for this. Anyway, as you can see, the um, moats are all over. And every time I load up the game, it will be different. So, and I mean, I'm not going to load it up multiple times because that would take forever. But anyway, that's how you do it. Um, although before I end this, I'm going to show you uh, something, a quick little thing. So stick around for like 10 more seconds. All right. Hi, everyone. So um, I'm back on the forge map we were just on. Anyway, so um, if you found it confusing or you need another example or anything, or you just need more help, um, I actually have a prefab I made of it. It's on the... Um, well, I don't even know what this is called. Anyway, so just search um, my gamer tag, us and them 76 um, and you'll see these two things pop up. Just go to the random weather system and drop, and it'll pop up like this. Um, now, the box, I had to weld it with something. So, because it wouldn't allow, it doesn't allow you to save if, um, as a prefab if it isn't welded. So just hold up twice on the D-pad and get rid of, or wait, yeah, there we go and get rid of the box. And then you have yourself um, a script. For this, um, the seventh script is actually is the round start, and the first script is the match start. I added the round start script last because I didn't think about adding it at the time. So, but then it's the same with the weather. So this will work. Um, if you need any more help, just search it up, and that should help. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and make sure to um, subscribe or, I don't know, check back later um, because, whoops, because, gosh, because I'm going to be making more stuff. So, um, yeah, or, yeah, I'm going to be showing how to make more stuff. Anyway, so, uh, thanks. Thank you. Anyway, goodbye.